My name is Melissa and I'm an instrument and control technician. I was in high school, I was on a debate team, I really enjoyed law, I really enjoyed fine details and there was a little bit nitpicky and stuff so it was kind of interesting because my friends would always get really annoyed with me kind of because I was constantly asking questions, diving in, needing more facts. Um, so I thought it would be perfect if I was a lawyer or something. Just you know. And then one of my family members actually suggested I take the instrumentation program. It was a trade, I knew nothing about it. All I know is that he told me it's very detail oriented and he figured I'd be really good at it. And so all I did was take my fine detail skills and kind of move it from law to trades. When I first got into school, I was very scared because I didn't know anything about it. So the trades scared me a little bit. I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, it seemed, you know, everybody else in the class knew kind of what was going on, had some form of technical background. Um, I didn't, so I felt a little out of it. But I, I, I found that it was fairly easy to understand once I really got into it. And there were so many things I never knew about and the instrumentation trade was so great that I started really diving into my work and then I think what nailed it for me when I really started loving it is uh, my first co-op. I did a co-op and I was actually in charge of running um, and developing a new system for the company I was working for. From then on I was hooked, that was it for me. What I do every day is I make sure that I'm maintaining, repairing and troubleshooting any of the instrumentation that's in the field, so any of the process systems. So system processes are basically anything that you can have as temperatures, pressures, flows, um, boiler systems, right down to radiation monitoring, to environmental compliance sampling. There's so many different processes out there that we need to measure, so the flow of the air, the flow of the pipe, the um, circulation of the water. So it's such a wide range of things that I do every day. I think the biggest misconception I can think of is that there isn't really any misconceptions because no one really knows what it is. It's a pretty um, specialized um, schooling um, and trade and not too many people are aware of it. So the misconception is there's not enough people out there knowing about this. Any skill that you have doesn't necessarily have to put you down one path. So yes, I could have been, been a lawyer, maybe I would have been great at it, but that same skill drove me to instrumentation and it's a trade that not too many people know about, yet it's a fantastic trade. You have to be very intelligent, you have to be meticulous, you have to be loving the fine details. You want to improve systems, you want to get them better, you want to run better, you want to make sure the efficiencies are there. So um, I think that anybody who wants to make systems better and make good money should probably take the instrumentation program. As a young person, I think if you wanted to go into the instrumentation field, you just have to make sure that you really want to work, you want to learn. Um, instrumentation trade, you never get to stop learning, so you don't just go to school, get a trade, go to a job, day in and day out, do the same thing. You're constantly learning, you're constantly thinking, you're challenging yourself. If you like to challenge yourself and you like learning and you like learning more and more and more and you're never satisfied with the answer of it can't be better, you're probably good for the instrumentation trade.